All right, all right, all right. How y'all doing? It's your boy Astro coming at you today. And if you're here, that means that you've either been with me, you've been rocking with me for a while, or that, you know, for some apparent reason, you end up, you know, being in my vicinity. I have a few things I want to talk about. Uh, I'm also going to finish the Ask Astro for the few who have sent your contribution. I think I have two more people to do, but we're going to get to you. But I want to talk about, you know, the soul ages, because, I, you know, I cycle back to these current kind of conversations so we can understand. Okay. Because I feel as if a lot of you are going back, backwards in your soul's evolution. And you're being led there by young souls, young souls, all right? And I'm not saying that as a, a derogatory um, stance. I'm not talking about trying to belittle anybody. I'm speaking from the soul age based upon the Michael's teachings, all right? Based upon that, we're going to have this conversation about souls, and young souls in particular, and how they're innocent, but also they're deadly. They're dangerous to the spiritual community, especially in the stage that we're in right now. For you guys, as a matter of fact. Now, the young souls would be known as the middle child. That's the one that's, you know, going into being mature, you know, the teenager who just want to wild out and, you know, focus on getting over on people. Now, I'm going to first start off with the positivity about young souls. Now, young souls, the positive or the, the, the pros of the young souls are, are they are very uh, initiative driven. They are on, in the spiritual streets. They are literally just starting communities and starting groups on social medias and, you know, pushing themselves out there so that the world can see that we are growing from the traditions of religion or the stage that they came out of, which is the baby soul. Now, you could, a soul can stay inside one soul age for hundreds, even thousands of, of lifetimes, sometimes even millions. The evolutionary growth is based upon the soul experiencing a certain karma and releasing those experiences connected to that karma. Well, these young souls, they're here to sort of build or for spirituality to be in the face of everybody. Because the young, the old souls really don't give a shit. They don't care about popularity. They don't care about being in the faces of others. They don't care about who follow them or not. Or even the mature souls are not really interested in that. They just want to live a very spiritual life with their family. You know, so these young souls, they're part, the positive part about them is that they are building. They're putting into perspective what we can see uh, as uh, evolutionary growth of the, of the soul. So we get, we commend them for that, you know, putting themselves out there, you know, I am so-and-so, I am this and that, that's fine. And that's the positivity about the young souls. I feel like without them, the platform and to be able to speak about these things wouldn't be as strong as it is now. The dangers about it is, is that the young souls don't know that they're young souls. Let me put this up. The young souls do, does not know that they're young souls. They feel as if because they have a gift of dreams or interpretations or they have psychic ability or they're able to astral travel or to read tarot or just a little bit of knowledge of astrology or human design. They feel as if they have their old soul. I want to make this very clear. Not because you have intuition and you're psychic and you're great at astrology 
or you have the gift of dreams or visions. That does not make you an old soul. As a matter of fact, somebody like myself can decipher a young soul from an old soul based upon their social media. It is very easy to spot the way they go about themselves. Okay. So I'm going to say this again. Your gifts, your skills, your talents does not make you an old soul. It just means that you've moved up into the young soul age. And I get that because you've been a baby soul for so long following traditions, you feel a sense of breaking out and displaying into the world your new gifts like new toys. And there's nothing wrong with that. We need the ability for people to see these things happening so that we can grow at all as a species. So you are important. This is, I just want to make that clear. That does not make you more important than anybody else. I just also want to make that clear. And I want to point out the things that could, you can look at to distinguish a young soul from mature and an old soul. So let's go. So a young soul is highly competitive. Highly competitive. They would see other souls doing a particular thing and want to one up on them, regardless if that soul that they're wanting up on is an older or a, or old or a mature soul or a transcendental soul. They don't really care about that. I don't give a shit about who they is. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna show them that we're better, that they should do my services other than these people's services because I am the one, I am the goat. That's what they would, you know, say within themselves. So these young souls, because of their so gifted and intelligent and because uh, most people don't know that their soul levels or soul stages, okay? We can't, people who have no, have no idea that don't know, all they think is these people are old souls because they could, they're intuitive. They're so smart. They, they got this gift, so they got to be an old soul. No, please, y'all. That don't mean anything. You could be an, a, a young soul and be very, very intuitive, psychic and even. Okay? Psychic and even. Like, they could be able to tell you, so they're straddling your head, uh, how many, that's how talented they are. Remember now, when you were a teenager, you had a body, a body that was filled with, you know, you were just cut lean. It looked as if you exercised your whole life, but no, it naturally happened. So you look stronger, you look more built. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to do much work in order to look good because it came with youth. And it's the same way with a young soul. Just to be clear. I said there's an infant soul, baby soul, young soul, mature soul, old soul, transcendental soul, and then there's the universal or the cosmic souls. Now, these young souls are very dangerous. Some of y'all just follow these people as if, and, and it, 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 it just, I'm baffled. I'm baffled by the amount of older souls, old souls and mature souls who follow these young souls and their ways of being competitive, of fear-mongering, you know. You against me. Anytime I hear people say, I got to cut cords, that's a young soul. And some of y'all be following these people, or you probably don't even know that you're a young soul. If you are, let me tell you, if you're, any, if you're, if you're a young soul, if you are a young soul, you are the type that loves gossip. that loves gossip. I'm talking about, ooh, you hear about Astro? He got like 20 females. Girl, that's what I'd be saying, but he's spiritual, man. Nah, nah. All they want to do is fuck. That's what they want to get into spiritual. And and, and yeah, because guess what? I had a boyfriend just like that, and about 20, listen, and la, 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 because what they do is they display their hurt, their anger, their animosity, because the young souls are very aggressive. And there needs to be a channel for them to explore 
uh, uh, to exude, all right, exert a better word, this aggression. And you could be on the opposite spectrum of that aggression, especially if they see you as a threat. I see this all the time in spiritual communities. And I see older souls, who I know are older souls, following these young souls. What does that say about you? When's the last time you've been to high school and sat and said, you know what? I need to go back to high school to relearn this shit. Absolutely not. If you have graduated, why are you going back? It makes no sense to me. So the fruits, you'll know them by their fruits. If they're going on social media and they're exposing, oh, I'm going to expose all these people. I'm going to, you know, this person, la, 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 bugger, ray, ray, ray. When there's a confrontation, the, if you see a spiritual person who's intuitive and psychic and so on, so they can find themselves being aggressive towards other people who are in different modalities. Just so you know, that's a young soul. I, I advise you, just advise you. You can watch him. But please don't fall into that young soul trap. You are literally going back. You are descending from your awakened consciousness. Anytime that somebody can wrestle with you for no particular reason or a, a next person, just realize that you are going to be next. If you are in a spiritual group and all they do is talk about this person or that person or spiritual warfare and somebody put a hex on me and I need to do put somebody in a jar, this person, so and so, that is a young soul group. What are you doing there? If you are a mature soul and you are old soul, why are you even partaking in those old ways? You've already passed that. You've already grown past that. I be watching and I'm saying, what are y'all doing? It makes no sense. Let the young souls handle and be with the young souls. They're going to always find a need to be a victim of something. You understand what I'm saying? You got to learn how to just let the victims be with the victims. Just so I know when there's an old soul. When there's less emotionalism, less hostility, less aggression, and more so calmness. You can sort of feel the energy of just an old soul when they open their mouth and when they speak. Sometimes you could be fooled by a young soul, but you could hear a slight agitation in their voice, even if they soften it. It's just a sort of a like a, yeah, yeah. It's just, you have to understand just by their communication what you are dealing with. All right. And you have to be careful because you're descending. When you get back into the idea that, you know, you have to take out your enemy, you got to wipe them out. They got to be non-existing for you to exist. Then what, what kind of spiritual evolution are you doing? That don't make no sense. Think about it. And I be watching, I be looking at these social media. Somebody just, you know, tagged me in a chat, a, a, a page saying, I'm going to expose all these spiritual people. That's a young soul. Somebody who was going on social media and just... Now, I can see this provoke. You, you got to speak about yourself. You got to defend yourself. But if somebody is provoking, there's no need, no problem with defending yourself if you're being attacked because we are in a 3D world. But if you are, to some degree, have nothing to do and you are on social media and you are attacking other people who you're supposed to be bringing together don't make no sense to me. And I've watched on look on social media, and you know, I got over 5,000 friends, not close to 5,000, that is. And I swear to you, I just want to delete again. 
I just go through ages of, de- of times of deleting friends. Because when I look on that social media and I see, I'm like, my my message isn't for you. You need a younger soul. You need you need somebody to to mess because you won't understand the concepts that I present to you. You're gonna take it as, you know, a problem. And I'm like, this ain't making no sense at all. At all. I don't even want to go into the person who posts in the comments. Of, I was like, these comments are ridiculous. But when I look in their eyes, I realize that these are younger souls. So the danger of the spiritual community when it comes to young souls is that you older souls will mistake gifts for them being an old soul. They, they themselves mistake it for that. They're not. They're not old souls. You can tell an old soul, okay? You can tell an old soul by their fruits. I'm going to show you. Uh... And we're going to take a look at it. I want y'all to understand how this works. Okay. And this teachings is really, you know, from the Michael's teachings. I just want you to understand where this is coming from. Okay. So let me share the screen so you guys can understand the difference. All right, share my screen. Sorry. So we could go over so you could understand how they work. All right, how to distinguish the different souls. Like in this in this article, it shows toddler soul, which is baby soul, right? And the stage is infant. As you can see, this is uh, the seven six stages of the soul. You have the infant soul there in survival mode. That's me and not me. Toddler soul or baby soul, which is rule-oriented, me and other me's. Young soul or child, success-oriented, me and you and I win. Mature soul or adolescent relationship-oriented, they're or relationship-oriented, meaning they want marriage, they want commitment. They want this sort of thing. Me and you, and I know how you feel. All souls or adult souls, um, philosophically oriented, me and you, and we are both part of something bigger. You see, there's no separation between that. There's me and you, and we are part of something bigger. Then you got the transcendental soul, we oriented. And it says, there's only we or us. And then you got the infinite soul, the I am oriented. And I am who I am. All right. Having multiple bodies allows us to experience multiple cultures, races, genders, family setups, time frames, and orientation. Just because we have multiple bodies does not mean we are not cohesive souls that are ultimately one with spirit. Remember, this is only a game we are playing with the illusion of multiplicity of soul ages and variety of experiences. Now that this question is set to rest, we can continue on with our discussion of how to determine soul ages on planet Earth. Even though there have been such prejudice over the ages, we cannot use physical size, intelligence, race, biological age, or gender to determine soul age or maturity. A black 10-year-old girl midget could very well be an old soul. And a big 50-year-old white man may be an infant soul or vice versa. So what clues can we use to determine a soul age? Well, well, they are the following. Values held. Two, perspectives uh, demonstrated. Three, behavior patterns manifested. Four, level of fear demonstrated. Five, Level of violence demonstrated. Six, level of compassion revealed. And seven, 
eye contact and some characteristics of appearance shown. These are the primary categories to determine soul age. Let us begin with the last category, which is eye contact. This is the only category where there may be an exception for mature or adolescent souls. Generally, eye contact improves with every stage. But we're going to skip past that, but I, I want to get you. So infant souls do not make eye contact. They're too afraid. Toddler souls make very brief eye contact because of suspicion and, fear, and fearfulness. Young souls make eye contact to dominate, not to allow someone in or to communicate. They literally look at you as if you are less than them. They get this thing about eye contact so that they can dominate the conversation and not necessarily take in anything you're saying. Transcendental souls do not blink much, if at all. There is a love and compassion in their eyes always. Infinite souls are the same in this regard. They don't blink. The cosmos is reflected in their eyes. Compassion. The younger souls age are incapable of compassion. They just don't know how because they are so identified with their simian bodies and the fearfulness of occupying one. Starting with the mature soul, Compassion is present and becomes stronger with the age, meaning that they love, they have, you know, they have some compassion going up. Then it's a level of violence. Unless infant souls are strictly taught not to react with violence, they can be vicious, viciously violent, because they do not understand that others are alive and independent. Others are merely objects to be dealt with and gotten uh, and gotten out of the way. As child or even adult, they often torture or hurt animals. Toddler souls, which is baby souls, uh, will gladly burn, behead, or execute those who have violated their religious beliefs and principles. They can be capable of horrific torture, and yet they can appear innocent and childlike. They display a chain, a strange obedience and loyalty to dominate corrupt or facet leaders like Hitler, Lenin, and other tyrants who can even be witnessed in our recent slate of presidential candidates in the United States of America today. Toddler souls do not think for themselves, but spout the party line. When challenged, they become belligerent. And this is just like certain countries, like Israel. Israel is a baby soul or a toddler soul, like they refer to country and so are the other religions like some of the muslim religions are you know toddler because they display a sense of violence but then you got the young souls but the, the some of the muslim souls are going into would be considered they are some of them are the young souls we're going to get into that so the young souls would gladly dispatch enemies by the thousands in order to win big for them it is all about dominance and success and fighting whether uh, on the battlefield or in business. Murder, threats, bribery, and corruption are all acceptable if they think they can get away with it. This is the key question. Can I pull it off? Often they do. Think Putin of Russia and his dealings around uh, Ukraine and Crimea and Donald Trump and his slogans against all Muslims. You see? So when you look at these sort of things, when you look at it, per se, these things are very, very clear. You have to understand the young soul. And I, I, I have to speak about it because who better to speak about it than me? I mean, and for now, unless you've studied the, the understanding of the soul age, which I'm sure that these, um, these younger soul had not, I'm here to let you know that you need to observe these people on your social media you have to understand who they are i'm not saying to delete or to bond i'm saying to observe them not to descend in your spiritual ascending it just doesn't make sense to me all right now from their parents like when you look at them you can't even tell unless you look in their eyes 
uh, 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 for them, appearances are everything. And they would gladly, brashly, and ostentatiously display their wealth with the delight of a 10-year-old who caught a big fish. There's another thing we would say uh, about young souls, uh, especially with the gift of spirituality. They'll be more focused on how money, money, assets, la la. Even in the religious uh, community, there are people called the, what do they call them again? I forget, but when they like money, when they talk about money, prosperity gospel, right? These are younger souls. They just want to get over uh, certain people. So the younger souls, listening, the young souls who have gifts, speak charismatic, they go into the baby soul age, create a church, create a, 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 a following, and they seep the money from those people because they're more talented, more skilled. They're really put into a soul age time on earth. All right. Now, mature souls identify with and, and feel what others feel. This makes them incapable of violence unless they are overcome with a fit of passion. So they're not overtly uh, violent, only if provoked, where they have to defend themselves. An old soul might be violent in self defense or in defense of others only very occasionally. So they're not violent in offense. They're violent in, hey, 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 wait, wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. You know, your grandpa done been there down there. I'm not doing that no more. Sorry, but whoa, whoa. hey, 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 what you doing there? Hey, get out of our yard, man. Get, where, where you going with that, boy? Keep running, boy. Wow. You know, <laughs> I'm just giving an example of old souls. And then transcendental soul or infinite soul. What do you even think about it? Uh, the level of the, devil, the level of fear demonstrated. And let me share this with you guys so you can see this. All right. I want y'all to see that. If you want to, I could share the link so you guys can take a look at this. So we can be on point. The level of fear demonstrated. Basically, infant souls are irrationally fearful of everything unless they feel safe or protected. You ever see those people who be like, yeah, I think they, I think that's an infant soul. Toddler souls or baby souls are terrified of a punitive God. They are sure they are headed for the fires of hell one way or the other. They are sure you are too. They show you are too. And they will try to send you there if they feel you deserve it. They usually arrange to be caught for their crime. For their crimes. Young souls are fearful of getting caught. Otherwise, they could care less. For them, getting caught is for losers. They are afraid of losing. Many of Donald Trump's comments reflect this attitude. I like Donald Trump, but Donald Trump is a young soul. He always been me. And that's the state of what the United States of America is. It's a young soul country. Majority, not everybody there. Um, mature souls are fearful of being misunderstood. They're also fearful of injustice and lack of fairness in the world. Okay. Old souls are afraid of creating more karma. They learn through the terror of having their ego shattered over and over until there isn't much left. So old souls don't want to create more karma. They're like, mm, I'll just let it be. And transcendental souls and infant souls experience no fear. They would literally go into something that they know would probably happen. And because that understanding of experiencing that thing is what helps them to grow and expand, they have no fear. Behavioral patterns manifested and perspectives shown. Now, this is where you got to understand the baby, the mature. I mean, the baby, the old soul. So let me just. The category has to do with sophistication. Now, infant souls are often very inappropriate in the social situation. 
They can be extremely awkward and simply don't know how to behave. If they are rebuffed in love or married, they may well attack the one who spurned them by throwing ass in their face or stoning them. They do cringe. They do cringe what do you think, sorry. The toddler souls or the baby souls are very childlike and unsophisticated, especially when viewed by older souls. They always seem to feel guilty, but are always trying to tell others how to live and what to do and not to base on their fundamentalist beliefs. They often make no logical sense and their arguments often go in circles because they cannot see the big picture. They can be very self-righteous and want the whole world to conform to their beliefs, no matter how narrow. They don't know how much, sorry, they don't know much about how to have fun. Often they represent stalwart conservative political positions, but then are caught having been the biggest transgressor of all. They are fond of praying for those who have been cut down by the assault of the assault guns with unlimited magazines they have made available. Now you can say it again. They are fond of praying for those who have been cut down by the assault guns with unlimited magazines they have made available. Now that's just an example of like the, the, the pastors and preachers who, 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 who preach, you know, stay faithful to your wife. Stay, stay faithful to your husband. And they're the ones having sex with everybody in the church. They're the ones who are having sex with male boys and spending and telling you to share with your neighbors, but they're buying airplanes and, 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 and luxury houses and telling you that you could just give them some, um, set, you know, give more tithes so they could, you know, intercede uh, uh, with God for you. Toddler souls are often overweight because they find it hard to regulate their intake of snacks and sweets, and they tend to overeat in general in order to feel more secure. They tend to have baby faces, as can be witnessed in many of the recent presidential candidates. Now, when you look at people like T.D. Jakes, T.D. Jakes has a sort of a baby face, even though he's an old man. You know, you could tell it the sort of baby innocence, you know, but he's a he's a baby soul. Toddler soul, and he's a transgressor, right? That's just, I'm just giving an example because this is on the internet, not to really point out uh, T.D. Jakes like that. Then you have the young souls. And these young souls are conniving strategists, always maneuvering to get the upper hand. Sorry about that. They can be sly and underhanded to get their way. They become expert at circumventing the rules in other words they can commit white collar crimes they can get away with it when they can get away with it they are blatant just sue me then just sue me take me to court i'm gonna do this nah, 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 nah. some corporation espoused this philosophy for example samsung deliberately and blatantly stole apple's secret smartphone technologies and reproduced them they put a number of American companies out of business using the strategy. When they were sued, they were simply denied and tie everything up in court for years until the other side gave up. This is why I will never, ever buy a Samsung product again. Now, I buy a Samsung product. Sorry. I don't care too much about Apple because Apple have the same. These are two companies that are young souls coming I mean, out for each other. Now, mature souls. I'm like back to the young souls. So these people would literally sit down and connive in the spiritual community who they need to take down. Oh, I need to take this person down because they, uh, let me, uh, I gotta, I'm about to expose every single person who so and so. This is what happens. Now it's a me versus them. Y'all have to see these people. Before you start following these people, try to find yourself looking down their social media. Look down their social media. If they send in screenshots, not to like, you know, to defend themselves, because some people will have to do that. But if they send in screenshots of a conversation that they have with somebody else and they're exposing that person or trying to do that, 
then this person may have young soul tendencies. Always at war with somebody. Always a victim. Always got to get over somebody. That's a young soul. Okay. Mature souls are known for getting themselves in the center of huge relationship messes. They tend to be dramatic and like baby souls, they relish situations where they can where they are misunderstood. The difference is that they can see shades of gray and look like they are in their bodies. They have more depth and compassion in their eyes. They can connect with you and display understanding, tolerance, and goodwill. Sometimes there's a disconnect between the spiritual values they believe in and their actual behavior. For example, they may meditate and value neutrality but feel very sorry for themselves and feeling wrong. They have a way of lacking neutrality, but I mean, even when they should know better. On the other hand, mature souls can be brilliantly insightful and aware. They are quite sophisticated in their dress and social grace. They can be very romantic. Now, all souls are relaxed and offbeat, sometimes eccentric in their beliefs and behaviors, but not boorish. They are famously neutral, or is that so? They do not suffer fools kindly, but they are capacity directed and steady as a rock. All souls are not spaced out. Rather, they are very present and occupying their bodies, being sensual. You heard that? Being sensual, sensual and naturally hedonistic, not because you like to have sex or you are sexually liberated means that you are a young soul. I hear people talk about it all the time. Like you have a problem with sensuality and naturally being hedonistic, then you have a problem with yourself. They have no use for guilt and shame and they are kind and loving. That's a, this is the old souls. The transcendental soul and infant souls are always spiritual teachers and cannot be missed because of their wisdom, their stature, their power, and love. The transcendental souls who are on earth, they normally have this experience of being spiritual teachers and their wisdom seems to come from out of nowhere. Like, how do you know this thing? Where did it come from? You could also tell by their stature, the way they are, the way they present themselves. And there's something about some po their power that they have. It's, they don't have to display anything for you to feel it. And there's always an energy of love. You can always feel as if you love this person and this person loves you, even though they are to some degree a, a transcendental soul. And that's because transcendental souls know what it is for you and them to share the same body. They trans transcend the physical. And that's also the infinite souls as well. We get, Now we're on to the values held. And this category is very simple to understand. Infant souls have no values other than to survive at all cost. That's right. Nuh uh. I gotta, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. That's just how they are. Toddler souls, which are baby souls, value structure and rules. They believe in authority, law and order, and strict interpretations of law. They are not flexible at all and believe in corporal punishment. They behave like sheep, not thinking for themselves. I know you see this all the time. It happens all the time. You've seen it. It's in church. They sit down. Yes, yeah, past. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's just how those souls are. Then you have the young souls. Uh, young souls are like bright-eyed children discovering their newfound abilities. I just mentioned them. And powers that they cannot wait to test out. So now they're psychic and they can do readings. And they're very, very intuitive, very gifted. Some of the best. Okay. They can be ultra charming, but to them, everything is about what looks good. If it makes you look good, then who cares about substance? Drive the cool car. Date the cool people. Su uh, su saddle up to money and power. Be seen in the right places. Who cares what the issues are? Find the fads and profit. Wear the mink, even though the animal might be terribly mistreated or going extinct. Who cares? And that's the essence of the young souls. They don't really care about anything other than their validation. 
being on social media and so on. So instead of just spitting information or knowledge, you can always tell when they are young souls. Okay. It's about me. The gifts come from me, not the universe, not the fact that they, you know, the higher self designed it. No, it's the ego. They're more ego driven. The mature souls value relationships, the relationship itself, others, spirit, food, work, the planet, etc. They like communication, understanding, study, psychology, depth, meaning, love, and purpose. They want to grow, delve, help, serve, save, evolve, and open doors. These are these mature souls are what I consider more in the spiritual community. These are what we call, I, I think are the majority in the spiritual community. And that's why it's very dangerous when I see young souls directing mature souls and the mature souls not understanding that their soul evolution has taken them past that me against you, that trapsy energy of gossiping, of talking about other people in the spiritual community. If you find that these people are doing that to you or doing that to other people, you are next. You are next. There's nothing saving you. Once that person is out of the place, you are going to be the person that they talk about, that they speak about, that they expose once they get close to you. Don't say I didn't warn you. You're going to come back to this video years from now and be like, damn, I sure you was right. They know the old souls, the value, the value nature. They value nature, spirit, freedom, the arts, pleasure. And they like to have fun. They also really raise some serious hell for the fun of it. Think Le uh, Leonard Cohen, Cohen and what be gold but here. They will fight hard for the preservation of nature. I don't really believe that Bibi Gobert is an old soul, but okay. I think she's a mature soul, but that's another topic on its own. Transcendental souls care at all. Uh, sorry, don't care at all what happens to them. They only teach the way by example. All right? Think about uh, Mohandas Gandhi. All right? So when you look at that, you know, because... These people know that they're walking into the fire, standing in the fire and saying, you know, this is the fire. I needed to experience this in order for me to evolve, to grow. I'm being fair for The infinite souls are impossible to miss. When they are alive, the whole world knows and the legacy is earth shattering. Think Krishna, Jesus, Buddha, Lao Tzu. One is on the way yet here it will be us now those are the if you understand that let me stop screening how do i stop okay there you go all right this is how you understand the different souls like i said for you mature souls and you old souls don't mistake yourself following these young souls. They will lead you down the path that you've already passed. There's no evolution with that. All right? I'm just explaining to you so you can understand where I'm coming from. You're going to see stuff. And they're going to take you. They're going to try to take you away from older souls or transcendental souls because it's them against anybody else. It's them against anybody else. I don't understand how y'all is partaking these sort of conversations with these younger souls. Oh, I'm going to talk about, let me, let me, oh, y'all won't believe. Guess what? Don't y'all know that gossip is a lower vibrational thing? Don't you know that focusing on somebody outside yourself without compassion, because you're not being compassionate, is a lower vibrational thing? Some of y'all are in these groups, these Facebook groups, these Instagram groups, and these groups are taking y'all slowly down. Oh, girl, girl, they have a, guess what happened? All right, let me show you what's going on. Somebody, somebody wrote you. I mean, they, they wrote your name on a candle, and they're burning you. But what I could do, let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a return to sender. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. These motherfuckers, they, they gonna get it. They think they gonna mess with me? Uh-uh, I'm gonna just do it to them back. You are no greater than the person that's so into 
All right. When's the last time you? When's the last? Let me ask you this. And I ask this personally. When's the last time you saw a baby beat up an adult? I'll wait. Tell me. When's the last time you saw a baby or an infant or a teenager beat up the parent? Stop thinking, you mature souls and old souls, that their little magic is going to affect you. They're not. I don't even worry about magic. You know, do you understand how much people, if y'all been following me for years, you'd understand how much persons want to see me down? How much of those young souls do y'all think want to see me perish? So they can have this, this idea of power. Oh, Astro's out the scene. Let me step into place. I don't really care for shit about power. I empower people. Every single one of my uh, partners and friends, I teach. I always say a great leader makes itself unnecessary. You share. That way you make millions of yourself, not just yourself. But see, you can always tell a young soul because they want to be in the seat of power and delegate. All right? I'm just saying, you have to understand the difference between them. There are so many who would love to see me ah, slashed. You know what could be the next? Oh, I tell y'all, I never could have taken that man. It was just something about him that I couldn't stand. Might, he made my hair crawl. It's something about him that makes me itch. I don't know why they be following these fake astrologers and these spiritual mind. Them. Are you, do you not know? They would eat me alive. Because I'm not a young soul. I'm not on that level. I'm not there. And a baby soul and an infant soul can never beat me up. I'm a parent. I'm a parent. And so are some of you on this live right now. You are old and mature. And some of you, want, a few of you here are transcendental souls. It may not be manifest. You may not see it. But this is who we are. So, I heard you. And this is why when people be like, you know, you know, I tell on myself. When people try to, you know, oh, I'm going to expose. I tell on myself. Yeah, I got multiple relationships. What you going to say? Yeah, I got a strong sex drive, but you won't see me posting anything sexual of me on any social media. My sex life is very private. You may see the people that I'm standing with. You won't ever see my dang line. You won't ever see me pumping, pumping, eating some vagina, getting my, no, no, no. You won't ever see those things. I may educate you in a sexual way about astrology or certain things of how to connect with your partner in a way, but you will never see me overtly sexual. I don't really care about that. It's a private thing. So I talk to myself. There's a reason why people can't really come for me. Because you can't tell a secret on me that I haven't told about myself. You can never. How can you? But you want to say, oh, he just like a lot of women. Well, my women will tell you that I like a lot of women. And what you going to say? That doesn't make no sense. That makes no sense. Uh, the other day, somebody who I, my, I care about, you know, I'm, I'm talking about accidentally took a piece of weed because I have weed. I, I smoke, you know, and I, you know, grabbed it up and left with it. And you know what happened? Let me tell you what happened. The person accused me of stealing some weed, weed like a plant. Y'all believe this shit? And then proceeds to tell me, "Oh, my weed was sixty dollars, a little small piece like this." I was like, "Uh, uh, did you pay sixty dollars for that sugar? You got robbed." Ain't me. You got robbed, sugar. But I'm just, I hope you understand that a young soul will always make themselves to be a victim. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't interact with a young soul. It doesn't mean that you can't communicate. You're here to teach them. You have to help them understand. You have to help, you have to have them understand 
their ways. The only way a young soul is going to elevate is if there are mature souls and old souls who do what they do so they can see, regardless if they directly come to you and say, that was a great post you made. Secretly, they steal your memes, your post, they study it so they could one up on you. Now, like I said, there's good and bad to that. That means that they're evolving. They're learning the stuff that you're posting, the things you're speaking about, even if they are going to try to use it against you to one up on you. We all need each other. Okay? That's just how it is. But like I said before, the young souls are the most dangerous to the spiritual community. We have to learn them. We have to see who they are. We got to understand that they are talented, skilled, psychic. I'm talking about read a tarot card to, to, the, to the gods. Okay? All right? But that does not mean that they are more superior than you or more higher than you. Okay? Just want you to know that. So that was today's lesson. Uh, and that was pretty long. I know, I know, I know. I just had to speak about it because, you know, when I somebody who I care about and they sent me the post and they tagged me in it on my Facebook, it says, Astro, they're coming for you. I'm like, what? Coming for who? People have been coming for me for years, even before I was on social media. What are they coming for me to do? I'm trying to figure that out. Grape juice, y'all. <laughs> uh, Alexandra Ponce asks a question. And, you know, what is it with these young souls, baby souls, always saying we're not one, that they're different just because of their spiritual practice and beliefs? Yes. That's what they do. They, they want to be validated. All right. It's always a one up on the other person. Say it wasn't long enough. I need more. <laughs> I know a person like that who thinks she's better than everyone and she reads cards. I had to get on her a little bit in a mature way. She tried it twice on my post. So I unfollowed her, you know, just unfollow the people. These people are literally like in the spiritual community and some people, some people are following them. I hope you guys can hear me because I have my, um, I do have my, uh, my mic on. I get those messages all the time. I question the dog who bring the bone. They take one too, of course. Eddie Brown, Eddie. Hey, Mr. Ware. Thanks. This was great. Right on time. I have been meditating to find more authentic teachers. Yeah. When you see people who are like, I'm going to tell you all the truth. Okay. Some of the things, and y'all have no idea, some of the things that I speak about on my post, on my live, I get absolutely nothing for. The only time I make money is when, you know, the Ask Astro or I do a needle chart reading or, you know, somebody do a quantum healing session. I make money through that. That's how I feed my family. That's how I take care of myself. If I didn't have to, I would do all this for free. You know, probably a dollar because, you know, law of reciprocity is important. <laughs> but I have to feed my family. It's the big family and growing family. Okay. So... You know, finding authentic spiritual teachers is important. And if they don't encroach on you, because what I do, I take my time and I, when I take my time and build my knowledge or the knowledge that was passed through me and me being a vessel, it still takes an energy, you know, and I want to make everybody aware. All right. All right. I just, you know, just want to make that very clear for you guys. So 
I don't have a, any malicious uh, intent when I post. I don't. And, you know, I've been portrayed at some point as being a, a predator, somebody who preys on people. And over the years, I'm starting to sit inside that seat and be like, okay, I guess, you know, if that's what makes you feel, then that's fine. It's beautiful. It always tells me where you are. You are a young soul. So when you hear people talk about, oh, he's la 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 la, these are young souls. All right. These are young souls. And if any of them, you know, just giving you a forewarning. You said from memory, I think you said you can progress soul groups, ages, isn't it? But work and healing. Yes, this is true. But they have to do it themselves. All right. I, I don't progress them. They have to progress themselves. Each person rest themselves. And what we're doing as a collective is slow, but it's methodical. But every time that you listen to conversations like this and you share that information with your children, when you share that with your friends and they, and you go on your social media, they see it. I say flood social media with knowledge and wisdom. You know, and sometimes laughter, you know, because laughter makes the day go better. As you see, I try to incorporate a little bit of humor in my knowledge because it, it, it's easy to swallow. It's what you remember. You remember those things. So I suggest just flooding your social media with things of helping people to understand and not necessarily just a picture of your ass or you shaking it or you just showing yourself. And this is no picking at anybody. If you do that, then that's fine. You are confident. You feel confident in your body, and that's beautiful. But when that is showing more than your knowledge, then you're showing more, you're showing more value in something that can change as opposed to something that will never be taken away from you, which is your knowledge. Knowledge could never be taken away from you. Your wisdom, never taken away from you. But your youth, your beauty, it's only for a matter of time. So find yourself flooding your social media with information that can help a next person. That we can actually, you know, be like, okay, okay. I'll, as you can see, I share everything. Everything when it comes to knowledge. I share my books. I share with my sources. I share with you my information, my experience. These are things that you share. These are things that somebody else can grow and evolve their soul age. Okay? You know, and I'm saying that you can, you can show people the progress of what you've changed. Like me, I posted, hey, listen, I'm working in the gym. This, you see the body, you see it? Time for you to have body discipline yourself. That's a different thing than, than me just showing off and not saying, hey, hey, we need to do this together. You know, this is showing, look at me, look at me, ha, ha, look at me. I am great. I am great. La, 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 la. That's a young soul thing. But being an inspiration through your, listen, if I can do this, you can do this too. There's a difference. There is a strong difference. Your intentions is important. All right. All right, y'all. Listen, it's been an hour. I promised myself that's going to be a, just for an hour. I'm going to be on later in the afternoon. I have to do a, I'm sorry, I'm going to do a, yeah, because I have to make runs. I got runs to make. I'm going to do an Ask Astro. Okay. Okay. Uh, later on, um, I need to do background check on my social media pages now. <laughs> So obviously there's an astro off topic. Have you done a chart on OJ and why he made people sign in an NDA? Well, I don't know what he signed an NDA, what they were signing NDA for, but I will say this, he's a Leo rising. <laughs> Leo risings have Scorpio in the fourth house. 
Scorpio in the fourth house don't don't play about their privacy at home. You'd notice I don't ever share my home on social media. Anything to do with this house or any house that I live in or any house that I acquire. Mm -mm. Because we're private about that. And he's very private about his inner works. That's almost every Leo rising that you can come. And then wherever Pluto is, makes it even more either intense or less. But the privacy is always there for every Leo rising that you come about. And OJ Simpson is a Leo rising. Did they do his chart? Of course. I've been doing this chart a very long I did it years ago. There are not a lot of old actors and actresses and famous people that I have not looked at the chart. I love you know, studying. So he did it on his deathbed. He is not playing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You um, listen. He was like, listen. I'm a, even after death, even after I incarnate in another body, y'all shall not speak of OJ Simpson. When he comes back on this earth, he gonna be his, he won't even remember he's OJ Simpson. But he's like, these bitches ain't gonna have nothing to say about me. Uh uh. Uh, uh Maria Corona Manus. Astro, is there a book you can recommend? to help learn and research your personal astrology. I'm going to make a post on Facebook with one or two of my astrology books that I would recommend so you can get better at astrology. All right? All right? So you can understand. So you can understand a bit more. So that, so they came and write books. They came and do. They came and they can't even. He can't. They came and do a. A biography on him? God damn, OJ was cold. He was ice cold. <laughs> um, all right, y'all. Have a blessed and beautiful day. Hope you enjoy the rest of your evening.